tayo po ay bininyagan kasi tayong lahat ay may factory defect. Ang factory defect natin ang tawag doon ay original sin. It was inborn. It was in us. We have no capacity to save ourselves. That is why we needed baptism. Ang tanong ay, bakit bininyagan si Jesus? May original sin din siya? Bakit bininyagan si Jesus? Kailangan din niya ng forgiveness? Ang sagot ay hindi. Iba ang dahilan kung bakit tayo bininyagan. Iba rin ang dahilan kung bakit bininyagan si Jesus. Anong dahilan kung bakit bininyagan si Jesus? Dalawa. Ang unang dahilan kung bakit bininyagan si Jesus ay para ipaalam sa lahat na siya ang kaisa-isang anak ng Diyos, na siya ang kaisa-isang Mesiyas, na siya ay outstanding at wala siyang kapantay. You are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased. Ang kanyang binyag ay pagkakataon upang ipakita, ipahayag, sabihin that He is God's beloved. Uniquely God's beloved. Ang pangalawang dahilan kung bakit siya bininyagan ay ito. Siya ay pumila kasama ng mga makasalanan. Pero wala siyang kasalanan. Kung hindi nyo maintindihan, ganito po. Merong pila dito ng mga preso. Merong pila dito ng mga bilanggo. At tatanggap sila ng isang plato ng pagkain. Si Mother Teresa pumila doon. Kahit wala siyang crime na nagawa. Kahit wala siyang kasalanang ginawa katulad ng pagpatay ng tao, pagnanakaw, panggagahasa. Pero pumila siya doon upang makabilang siya sa mga makasalanan kahit siya mismo ay walang kasalanan. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, the reason why Jesus chose to be baptized are these two. Number one, He wanted to celebrate His uniqueness as Lord. And number two, He wanted to celebrate His solidarity with the community. Kapag tinignan po ninyo yun, lahat tayo mayroong ganong pagnanasa. Ano yung gusto natin? Gusto natin outstanding, di ba? Gusto natin champion. Gusto natin Guinness Book of World Records. Gusto natin kaisa-isa. At kaisa-isa naman po tayo sa mundo. Ang proof doon, walang parehong thumb mark. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang thumb mark. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang iris. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang biometrics. That is our uniqueness. Pero, sa kabilang dako, ayaw naman nating palagi na tayo unique. Kasi, kapag unique ka naman palagi, para ka nang nasa pedestal, para ka nang walang kakilala, parang kaisa-isa ka na, parang wala ka nang barkada. Hindi magandang umak, kumakain mag-isa, hindi magandang tumatawang mag-isa, hindi magandang umiinom na mag-isa, hindi magandang naglilibang na mag-isa, gusto natin may kasama. Nandito po yung tension. On one hand, we want to belong. But on the other hand, we want to be unique. Where should we be? Should we be unique? Or should we always belong? The answer is, Both. Both. We are unique and therefore remind yourself you are loved. But in your uniqueness, you want to belong. That is why you wear the organization's uniform. That is why you wear the religious habit. That is why I dress like a bishop. That is why our first communicants dress in white because they belong. My dear brothers and sisters, it can be a tension, a moment of tension and stress. What is it? In our desire to be unique, don't be isolated. 
in our desire to belong, don't compromise your identity. We can respect each other's uniqueness and at the same time, welcome one another as brothers and sisters. Who are you? Sino ka ba talaga? Ang sagot, ako ay ako. Subalit, yung aking pagiging ako, kabilang ako ng marami pang ako, kabilang ako ng marami pang kapatid, no man is an island, no man stands alone. I want to be outstanding, and I am unique and outstanding because God loves me. But I belong, and I will always belong, and I will always find myself only belonging to the community. Sino ka? I am myself. I am unique. And in my uniqueness, I belong to a community.